hello and welcome back to Japan's Perfect Pens and today is another Emperor Namiki review. This review will be of the Namiki Emperor Butterfly and Chrysanthemum by Michifumi which is a limited edition of 99 pieces worldwide back in 2007. So here is the pen. It is Butterfly and Chrysanthemum. The butterfly is done in Raiden and the chrysanthemum is raised Makie and it's beautiful. So it's a rounded Cap Namiki Emperor, eyedropper 17 centimeters long, 13 millimeters or so section diameter. There's no Makie on the clip this time and a two-tone size 50 nib. So if we just have a look at it here and I'm just going to rotate it so you can catch the Raiden in the light. So it's fairly simple in some respects. It's butterflies and then the chrysanthemum flowers and the chrysanthemum seal of Japan which is the one with the round center and it is beautifully well done I mean this the, the Raiden really shines beautifully as I turn it here so the Raiden is done in small sections and then you have the wings of the butterfly the veins in the wings put over the top in gold um, which creates this beautiful effect that's just overlaying the Raiden and it really is something something spectacular to look at um, this shimmers and shines as you move it it's a gorgeous piece of Raiden work so you can also see here that the outside of the wing has got the gold powder and then the various dots of gold around it now the butterfly is the great purple emperor butterfly which is the national butterfly of Japan and that goes hand in hand with the chrysanthemum, which is the national flower of Japan. Indeed, the Japanese throne is the chrysanthemum throne. Now, most of the makie on here, as with most of the emperors, is shishiai togadashi makie, which is both raised and burnished raised styles of makie. And you can see it particularly well here. You can see how the butterfly is raised above the level of the pen. You can see the edge of the flowers, how they gleam in the light. That's all of this raised effect. It makes it look very 3D. And the Raiden is mother of pearl cut from the inside of shells in quite an industrial process into the required shapes, laid in place of a rishi, and then the charcoal is burnished over the top. And that gives this lovely glistening effect. And the more a rishi you put over the top, the darker it is. So on some pens, you have different layers of visibility to the Raiden. The cutting needs to be absolutely expert to fit into the shape. And then also the, the colors are very individually picked. They really go for the greens and the purples in exactly the right proportions. Now, let's have another look at the pen here. So if I open it up, we can take a look at this two-tone size 50 Namiki Emperor nib. And it's huge. I mean, it's, it's a Namiki Emperor nib. This is what they're known for. Um, it's quite quite beautiful the section there is reasonably minimal in terms of its detail and then it, everything is here to emphasize the effect of the Raiden on the butterflies as he turns around um, which is just gorgeous the other thing to note here is the chrysanthemum down the left the dark darkened gold powder effect so you you get the gold powder and you put the orishi over the top of it and you come up with this orange and then over the top of that they put a much lighter shade of yellow gold which again just really really beautifully enhances it and gives it this lustrous lustrous color which like the Raiden also moves as you rotate the pen so it catches the light it moves and it's very nice it's a lovely contrast to the pure gold chrysanthemum and also the gray part as well so you have these three different versions of the chrysanthemum even on the same pen and it's really really nice so let's talk a little bit about the nib and how this pen writes i have a dedicated namiki emperor writing review which i'll link to now because i won't be writing with this pen this pen isn't inked it's not my pen so the nib is size 50 it's got a good deal of bounce to it just the sheer size of this gold nib means there's a little bit of bounce a little bit of softness to it as you write not a flex pen I find it very, very comfortable to write for long durations because the pens are quite light being made of ebonite. So they're very large, but they're quite light. If you've got a hand size that matches the pen, this is one of the great writing experiences on planet Earth. If you don't have a hand that matches this pen very well, it is very hard to use. So please have a look at the dedicated writing review 
because that talks in detail about how things work, how things don't work, and how it's different to write with such a large pen when your hand is so far away from the paper. So just moving on now to have another look at the pen. One of the things that I like most about this pen is this theme of gold running throughout and the color scheme of the, the warm golds and then you've got the blue and the purple and the green shades in the Raiden and they contrast really, really well with each other and it really serves to highlight both of them. Now the rest of the pen has got this warm orange looking gold pattern, the same as is in the chrysanthemum in this shot here. And it gives you the negative space, but the dot pattern means it doesn't feel like there's too much contrast between the butterfly and the flowers and the rest of the pen. I think if it was on a pure black pen, it would stand out even more and it just has a good balance. Now, here's the artist's signature on the left and Kokokai on the right. As with all the Namiki Empress, this pen takes a huge amount of work. The base black pen takes about 30 stages of production to get it into shape before you add even the first bit of gold powder as this pen has. And you can see, especially on things like the flower here, that this has been built up through many, many, many layers. And each layer has to be built up high, things added to the macchiato to raise it, left to dry, come back to it, add another section, left to dry, come back to it. And leaving these things to dry is a matter of several days rather than hours. And they require a humid cabinet because that's what makes the Urushi harden. So the pen takes months to produce and the artist will typically work on a few pens at the same time, each one of which takes a bit of manual work and then is put away to dry and harden. Okay, well, I hope you've enjoyed this review of this quite hard to find pen. The butterfly in chrysanthemum is absolutely gorgeous and there are many more similar reviews coming up soon. So please like and subscribe and I look forward to seeing you next time.